Right. So I think uh, what's interesting to know is that it's a very recent phenomenon. It only started in 2009. Uh, it started as a grassroots movement. Um, partly started, as I said, because of the you know increasing disaffection of the public opinion vis-a-vis -vis the political class, and so it tried to really connect, um, in a way, politics with uh, uh, the masses. They created an horizontal structure whereby uh, feedback from uh, all users of uh, Beppe Grillo's blog are encouraged to participate and shape not only um, in terms of messages to get across, but also contents of these messages as much as they want. Um, so, of course, there are uh, priorities set by the movement and Grillo himself uh, that constitute now the so-called platform of the movement. They are very simple priorities. They are not encompassing, but they are um, clear enough, they are popular enough, they are easy enough to understand, um, but they can be enriched by users and by followers of the movement who can send feedback on a constant basis. One is, of course, the environment. Um, there's a lot of attention to be paid to the environment as a reaction to all the decade-long um, uh, exploitation of uh, you know, land and territory in Italy. Uh, the, there's a huge criticism made by Grillo of a big infrastructural project which didn't lead anywhere uh, and which were detrimental to uh, green economic development as a whole. So there's uh, a lot to be said about environment, about energy, uh, again, f seen from the vantage point of uh, uh, being uh, environmental friendly. So green energies, renewable energies, etc. Uh, and the program is quite detailed on that. And then there's a part on um, the political establishment itself. So of course, this is one of the main driving forces and uh, main features of the Grillo's movement. So uh, he calls for a cleaner, um, environment for politics and for having a political system which is much closer to public opinion, which uh, where uh, the, the costs, the expenditures of the political class should be heavily diminished. Uh, they should be much more accountable to public opinion. Uh, they should be much more responsive. Uh, they should be more transparent. They should publish m basically everything they do, everything they say, all their expenditures. They should justify what they do, how they spend the money allocated to them. Um, and then, of course, there's a part related to how Italy works in terms of uh, bureaucratic structures. And this is, of course, also very relevant because um, uh, there's a huge criticism to be uh, directed against the public administration, the fact that it's a slow administration, that it's not responsive enough towards its citizens. And so Grillo makes a number of very concrete proposals, so, you know, having a more digitalized public administration, a quicker uh, way of responding to the public, etc. So, of course, you could call populist uh, uh, messages, these ones, the ones he has been formulating in the past uh, couple of decades. Um, but there is some truth in each of these proposals and truths that have been uh, reckoned uh, with and accepted also by the main uh, leftist parties. So the Five Star Movement has got a lot of contradictions. So on the one hand, it has an horizontal structure. It doesn't have a direction or a formal hierarchy. Uh, it has groups that can organize you know, from a grassroots level and then wage campaigns which are relevant on the local level against some infrastructural projects or against uh, you know, um, scandals and corruption uh, episodes, etc. And uh, Grillo would act as a mouthpiece for each of these uh, messages coming from below. But in the same, uh, at the same time, there is uh, from, uh, you know, in terms of, there is a bottom-up uh, pressure, which is really important and is key to understanding this movement. But there is also very strong control by Grillo and Casaleggio, who was the other founder of the movement, uh, from the top down. And this is something that um, l leaves many people wonder about the truly democratic nature of the movement or not. So there are contradictions within the movement, both in terms of its uh, processes as well as in terms of its messages. Some people, for example, point to uh, supposedly um, 
racist or uh, debatable uh, comments by Grillo when he talks about immigrants in Italy or Roma people or uh, the expansion of European Union, the so-called widening process to the East in very critical terms. So I think there's a lot to be said and also, you know, there's a lot to be uh, just, we need to look out and see what's going to happen in terms of uh, the development of the movement.